Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel! We're starting off this video with the build for the Ministry of Magic set 76403 and um, we'll be doing a short review on this one and then after that I'll do an update on the Lego Town and just see how we go from there. So first of all I like the minifigures that come with the set. They're really unique in the sense that the other figures that we had from the previous sets have been mostly repetitive. You usually have Hermione, Ron, and Harry, and then a bunch of the other students. But with this one, there are some new characters that um, I don't think we've seen in other sets or at least not in these certain clothes that they're wearing so it's great to have them as additional lego minifigures in our town also i like the one that they had for the fountain which is a golden part and as for the set itself the building it's really nice and very detailed I like the dark green color plus the red it's a great combination and it looks really well put together although it kind of gets repetitive when it comes to the building style but it that is to be expected considering that what we see from the box is simply just these uh, facades the good thing about it is that they're interior which I will show later on has some differences which make it a little bit more interesting and also these ones can be built by let's say two or three people separately so you'll be playing and building at the same time and then be able to create this afterwards so it's a great team effort if you want to do it that way with your family or friends okay let's have a look at the back side so looking from the interior part of the buildings they're quite detailed and you can actually remove some of those parts if you wanted to have a play or if you want them to be placed somewhere else like for example this one even though the space is very limited you're filled in with so many small details that it's very nice and the good thing about it is that not one room is the same as the other the same goes for this one you have the pink room and then you have here another one where this one is easily removable and then you have here the door that leads inside although it's quite tricky to place this in your lego town if you plan to put it in a similar style as the lego buildings that we have as modulars because it's at an angle here and here which make it difficult to place and even though it you can place it as a facade it's still very tricky so you might have to do some modifications here and here to turn it into a straight facade or overall turn it into a modular building so let's have a look around and see where we can place this building as you may have seen from my previous videos our Harry Potter section and winter style sets are placed at the back of our Lego town. It's underneath the top level of the modular buildings, hidden away here on the middle level. And then it actually connects the train set that goes from the front all the way here. And then another tunnel that leads out into our forest area so 
as you would in a Harry Potter themed set it's a hidden area and I was thinking maybe I could have placed the Ministry of Magic here or here this would have been a perfect position for it but unfortunately it's too tall and it would hit the ceiling if I don't reduce the height or I'm not sure what I would do with it just yet because it looks really nice and I like the color so I don't want to ruin the building st structure itself but I'm not sure if I would want it to be placed here in our Diagon Alley or just try to make it into a modular building so I'll think about that for now as you may have seen from my previous videos our Harry Potter section and winter style sets are placed at the back of our Lego town it's underneath the top level of the modular buildings hidden away here on the middle level and then it actually connects the train set that goes from the front all the way here and then another tunnel that leads out into our forest area so as you would in a Harry Potter theme set it's a hidden area and I was thinking maybe I could have placed the Ministry of Magic here or here this would have been a perfect position for it but unfortunately it's too tall and it would hit the ceiling if I don't reduce the height or I'm not sure what I would do with it just yet because it looks really nice and I like the color so I don't want to ruin the building st structure itself but I'm not sure if I would want it to be placed here in our Diagon Alley or just try to make it into a modular building so I'll think about that for now and let's see what other updates I can share with you. One small thing that I added a few weeks ago was this scene. If you know, you know. <laughs> but if you don't, it's fine. It's just a, a running joke right now. And then we still have here our Market Street. Still have to add a few more mini structures here all the way to our beach so there's still lots of progress to be made but i've always been busy with designing digitally and doing alternate builds so i've not had much time to actually do some minor updates and here we have jack sparrow playing the guitar also, it's linked to the joke that was on the other side. And if you know, you know. If you don't, it's fine. <laughs> and here, not much has changed. I think uh, for the most part, the buildings are already in their final position. We might end up changing or moving a little bit here and there but overall I'm very happy with the layout that we have the one thing that has really opened up after the June release is this one previously I had just placed some unused sets or sets that have not been modified so far um, and placed them here so I didn't show much of this area before but now 
I've cleared it up and we're starting a friends district so first off we have here the beekeepers shop the seasons cafe and the ice cream and noodle shop they're probably not going to be in this final position um, I might have to rotate them around as I add the other modulars that I've been modifying such as the following images so I was thinking if I had this um, ice cream and noodle shop and then I also build the arcade and bike repair shop I'm not sure if I should put them together given that they have the same aesthetics or the same facade or if I should split them up so that we'll have a variety of buildings all around so it's something that I try to make in terms of style where I try not to have the same building with similar structures in the same area or right beside each other just for example here is our El Cubo cafe and then on the other side we have the boutique hotel so they come from the same set but I've split them up so that they don't look like one large building and we have more of a variety but that doesn't apply all the time especially for the case where I want them to complement each other like the diner and the bowling alley which is mainly here because we have the tan base plates that connect really well with the beach area considering that they're intended to be sand so I was thinking this is our boardwalk or our sand area and we have here another base plate for potential modular buildings in the future hopefully they'll be related to beach themes or tropical themes also um, what I forgot to say is that I'll be splitting up the area sections so here we have the tropical slash summer theme so it will be colorful with some bright green or colorful flowers for summer and then coming from this side we have the spring theme I think it's already there where we have mostly green dark green and other flower colors up to this point and then here we'll have our autumn so I've started to have plants that have orange bright light orange and yellow plants and trees I'll probably change this ones into orange and yellow leaves as well so that they'll be in line the same goes for this one um, but it doesn't have to be 100% in the same color scheme but it would be preferable if I could have that here and then the winter is at the back where we saw earlier that we have the winter village sets and the Harry Potter sets which also have some winter themed sets like the Whomping Willow set that was released this June or something that will be released later on can't remember the whole set number so that's what we'll be doing overall here in our Lego town um, I'm not sure if I have any more updates to share but I do intend to 
do something about this set as well as this one I'm not sure if I can turn this into another modular building um, but we'll have to see <laughs> it seems that Lego is releasing more sets than I could plan for and I've actually left some of these modular buildings with some minor improvements that I've not done so far like for example for the hospital and the fire station I still have a few items to tweak there and what else for the boutique hotel I intend to put two toilets for the two rooms that don't have the toilets or bathroom so I'll try to squeeze in the considering the space that we have in that modular building a little bit tricky but we'll do it <laughs> we can manage anyway I'll stop talking for now and I'll start doing some more stuff in the Lego room so that we'll have more updates in the next video until next time bye